we've always given them, if you like, permission to be who they are, find what's important to them and 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 go for it in various ways. And that really sounds quite glib. It's been challenging. It's been tough. It's, you know, there's been um, uh, uh, obstacles in various ways, but you can find your way around them if you find the guides, the coaches and the mentors yeah, yeah. and you yeah, look I'm, for the lessons. Yeah. And as for the, the why wait thing, you mentioned the why wait thing. So again, there's a story to be told with that. And the first was my lesson in it and then how I shared it with them. So the first part of it is that, again, one of the pivotal moments in my life and a guide and a mentor appeared at the right time. And that was that uh, without sort of giving you too much of a backstory, working with an organization, I was traveling around the country. I literally lived out of my, my car. So I would I had a home base that I would go back to on a Friday night, spend Saturday getting myself ready, washing, ironing clothes and all the various bits and pieces in order to get back in a car on on Sunday to travel around the country Sunday night through Friday night. And I was just doing my job visiting and I've put thousands upon thousands of pounds, thousands of miles on the car and driving around doing this this work. And I loved it. Don't get me wrong. I loved it. But there was a situation where uh, I ended up walking out to my car one day where everything that I owned um, was in the car. And I walked out, my car had been broken into and it was all gone. And I mean, all gone. I literally walked into the hotel with a newspaper. And uh, I get a phone call from my boss the next day. He found out I was doing all the things and messaging people and letting them know that this was a scenario. I wasn't going to be in the work the next day because I didn't have any. This was a Sunday, so I didn't have any clothes to wear and so on and so forth. So um, so off we go. And uh, and he rang me and he turned around and he said, one day you'll probably look back on this and laugh. And I went, yeah, probably. And he went, why wait? And I just loved that. I don't know why, but it just hit me exactly the right way at the right time. Because I did laugh. And I, did, you know, and he brought me, he, he just broke my pattern. It, the, 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 the little woe is me cycle that I was in. I started to realize it was just stuff. You know, it wasn't that important. It didn't define me or all these sort of various bits and pieces. So years later, uh, I'm chatting to my kids and I'm hearing all of this stuff. I fall into these patterns that we all do of, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up and all the rest of it? And then all of a sudden this light bulb went off and I turned around and I said, um, so what do you want to be? I stopped saying when you grow up. So I said, what do you want to be? What do you want to do? What do you want to experience? And they would tell me, oh, I'd love to be a writer. I'd love to be a gymnast. I'd love to da 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 why wait? Start writing. If you want to be a writer, write. If you want to be a gymnast, let's start tumbling. You know, let's do these things. Let's try these things. So wherever possible, we try and apply the why wait principle. It's like, you know, yeah. live. There's, there's an old phrase that a lot of people use, and it's fake it till you make it. And I'm, I'm not a big fan. Okay, I'm not a big fan of it. I understand the principle of it, I'm not a big fan. And the reason I'm not a fan is because the first word and the message that it sends, the first word is fake. So you're already telling yourself, I'm faking this. My version of it is live as if. So if I want to be this, I'm going to live as if I am that. So what would that person do? How would they act? How would they behave? And again, this is right in your sweet spot because I'm sure that's what you're telling people all the time. So what would that look like? What would that feel like? How would you present yourself if you were? Fantastic. Be it. There you go. Own it. Take it on. Yeah, no, absolutely. Absolutely. It is the, the fake. And if you're if you're acting, if you're in that kind of scenario, the last thing you do is fake being a character. You have to be the character. You have yeah. to know what motivates them, why they're there. And that's something that I now work with people in business is to kind of get get rid of that thinking that they are faking it is is just be it yeah. and enjoy being it. You know, go for it. Really. Exactly.